guys! So today I am going to be doing the 10 products I'd repurchase tag and I was tagged by Casey or It's Blondie and by the way she is awesome. She's been like my favorite person to watch this month so I will link her channel and her tag video down below because you guys should go and watch her videos and subscribe to her because she's amazing. So anyways, this tag is basically about the 10 products that I would repurchase if I lost all of my makeup. So if my makeup just suddenly disappeared one day, these are the 10 products that I would go out and repurchase first. So I am just going to go ahead and get started. My nose is really itchy right now for some reason. Oh. Anyways, moving on into the products. The first thing that I have here is a foundation and I really thought about this a lot because I love my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, but I ended up choosing my Revlon Colorstay Foundation for combination to oily skin. And I am the shade Warm Golden right now. And the reason why I chose this is because it is it is more versatile than the Chanel foundation, in my opinion. The Chanel foundation looks very natural. It feels really light on the skin, and it gives really great coverage. But the Revlon Color Stay Foundation gives even better coverage. It's even more buildable. You can put this all over your face or you can just put it on the areas where you need extra coverage. And this lasts a lot better without a primer. So the Chanel foundation will last without a primer, but this will last even longer. And then for powder, this probably isn't going to be much of a surprise for you guys. I am choosing the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I am the shade Medium Sand. And this is a translucent um, setting powder and I really like this because I have super super oily skin and this is the best powder for me that I've found. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin, it doesn't feel cakey, and I feel like my skin can still breathe at the same time and I just love this powder and I have used it for so long and I've actually repurchased this a ton of times. So next is concealer and since I chose the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, I'm going with an under eye concealer slash highlighter. So this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer and the label on this has like almost completely worn off but that's okay because the product inside is still the same. But this is an awesome under eye concealer and highlighter so that's why I'm choosing this product because it kind of does multiple things. So this has a little brush tip applicator and it's a salmon color. Oh, I wear the shade Radiant by the way. And I just pat this underneath my eyes and it gets rid of darkness and then I will bring it down into like a triangle shape right here on my face and it just kind of brightens up the area and I'll bring it up around on my cheekbones and over here into my eye area and it really just highlights and makes your face look more luminous but not oily so that's what I like about this because it highlights without making you look oily because I have natural oiliness and I don't need to add more to my face so this is an amazing product and if you're a fan of the YSL Radiant Touch I personally like this one a lot better and it's a lot easier to find because you can just go to the drugstore and buy this. So I love, love, love this and I think I'm actually almost out so I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. And then for bronzer, I have been so in love and so impressed with this product. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Ooh, I just had like a weird little twitch there. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And I had heard so many amazing things about this product. And so that's why I decided to go out and try it. And oh my gosh, it's like even better than everybody says. So I just love this bronzer. It's completely matte and it doesn't make me look orange. It doesn't make me look muddy and it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just perfect. So I think I love this even more than NARS Laguna bronzer which is like a big thing because NARS Laguna was my favorite for so long. But this is just great to use on a regular basis and I love it. I love everything here. So I'm gonna be saying love a lot in this video. The first eyeshadow product I have is my Chanel Emmerve Cream Eyeshadow. And I love this because I use this 
pretty regularly. There's a pretty big dent in this pot now. This is like a pinky golden champagne color that I think is just so beautiful and great for everyday wear. I can get away without a primer underneath this and it'll last for several hours, which is really good for me because I have super, super oily eyelids, like even more oily than the rest of my face. And this will stay on for several hours without a primer. So I just like using this either on its own or as um, like a shimmery base underneath eyeshadows. It's a great everyday color. Then I have my Naked palette because this is an awesome palette and it comes with so many different colors. You can do a light daytime look with this or a darker smoky eye and you basically get a ton of colors in one product so that's why I'm choosing this and it's great to travel with as well because the eyeshadows don't break easily at least from my experience because I've traveled with this and I've never had a problem with it next I have an eyeliner and this is my NARS let's see what this is called exactly the larger than life long wear eyeliner and I have been wearing this recently and this is the best pencil eyeliner that I have ever used because because, like I said I have a super oily eye area and anything that I put on like my waterline or on the upper inner rim of my eye um, it just doesn't stay it'll come off it'll smudge everywhere and this stays in place all day. I have just enjoyed using this so much and it makes me happy that I can kind of get into black eyeliner again because I don't have to worry about panned eyes like at the end of the day. And then for blush I have one from NYX here. This is Pinched and I got this not too long ago but it has quickly become my new all-time favorite blush. I just love this so much. And this reminds me a lot of NARS Deep Throat slash Orgasm. It has that similar color to it with shimmer, but I just love this so much more because when I put this on my face, I don't have to think about it. With the NARS blushes, I have to be really, really careful with them, but this one, I can just sweep it across my cheeks, and I'm wearing it today, and it just looks so natural and makes you look very radiant, and it just brings the most beautiful flushed color to your face with a little bit of golden shimmer, but on the skin, it doesn't look glittery. For mascara, I have Maybelline The Falsies Flared, which I actually found out about because of Casey, who tagged me to do this video, and she had done a um, mascara video where she talked about mascaras that she really loved and mascaras that she didn't like so much, and she had raved about the entire Falsies line. So I decided to try it, and I really, really loved the flared version, and I have this in waterproof. So I really like this because it doesn't smudge on me, and I can use this on both my top and bottom lashes, and I don't have to worry about flaking. This volumizes really well, it lengthens, and I really like the brush shape. So it allows you to get all of, all of the little baby lashes that are out at the um, corners. And then the last thing I have here is lip gloss. This is my NYX beige lip gloss that I am wearing right now. And this is my new favorite lip gloss. I just love this. I really like my Dior um, Sorry Pink but I like this one better because I can wear this on a daily basis and it just is a beautiful color that complements your natural lip color and it's very subtle but it adds color to your lip area and it tastes really good. For some reason, to me, this does not taste like cherry like the rest of the NYX lip glosses. This one tastes like strawberry and banana. I'm wondering if I'm the only one that got one that tastes a little bit different, but this tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie to me. So let me know if you have this lip gloss and if you think the same thing in the comments below. So I think that is going to be it for today and I'm tagging all of you to do this and I will also tag some specific people down below but this video was so much fun to film and they're so much fun to watch oh um Allison or Amarique's also did one of these videos so I will link hers down below because I had a lot of fun watching hers as well but I really love watching these videos because you really get to see a person's all-time favorite products because if you lost all your makeup and you could only buy 10 things those 10 things are probably like your favorite of your favorites. 
So that's why I've enjoyed watching these pro uh, not products, these videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you didn't get a chance to watch my last video, I did a DIY or glam it yourself tote bag that doesn't require any sewing whatsoever. So I will link that video down below as well as at the end of this video. So I hope you guys are doing really well and I will see you all very soon. Bye.